Welcome everyone to CompTIA Jeopardy. We've got a great show today, so let's meet our contestants. First, we have Ronnie Wong. Ronnie has taught IT fundamentals for IT Pro TV as well as Cloud Plus and Project Plus. Next, we have Wes Bryan. Wes teaches several of the CompTIA courses at IT Pro TV like A Plus, Net Plus, and Security Plus. And for our viewers down under, you might recognize him from the CompTIA Global Roadshow where he made a trip down to Australia and New Zealand just a couple of years ago. Finally, we have Adam Gordon, who holds over 160 certifications and teaches CompTIA courses like CASP Plus and CYSA Plus. Now let's talk about the game. Contestants, I think you all know the rules. We'll provide the answer and you'll tell us the question. Ring in at any time, but know that if you're wrong, we'll deduct the point value from your score. Now, let's take a look at the categories. Our first category today is Acronym Soup. In this category, we'll give you an acronym. You have to tell us what it stands for. Our next category, Networking 9 to 5. Then, Security. Measure twice. In this category, all the questions will center on units of measure used in computing. And finally, any port in a storm. All right, before the show, we did a cage match to find out who would get to go first, and Ronnie won. So, Ronnie, give me a category and a dollar value. Let's try measure twice for 100. Measure twice for 100. It's the unit of measure used for the output of a power supply. Ronnie. It is watts. That is correct. Oh. All right, where to next? Oh, measure twice for 200. This category of copper network cabling was developed for 10 gigabit networks. Wes. Uh, what is CAT uh, 6A? CAT 6, I'll accept CAT 6A, but CAT 6 is what we were looking for. All right, let's go with uh, acronym soup for 100. Acronym soup for 100. This common messaging protocol is abbreviated SMTP. Ronnie. What is simple mail transfer protocol? That is correct. Networking 9 to 5 for 100. Class A networks use IP addresses within this range. Adam. What is the 10.000 range? That is incorrect. Wes. What is 1 to 126.0 or .255.255.255? Also incorrect, Ronnie. What? <laughs> what is 1.0.0.1 through 127.255.255.255? All very close answers. Oh. <laughs> the class A address space is defined as 0.0.0.0 .0 all the way through 127.255.255.255. Just left off that one. <laughs> so, all right, well, that puts us back. Uh, we came from, uh, Wes, you picked that, right? Um, Ronnie, I think Ronnie did that one, didn't he? Uh, yes. All right, Ronnie, where are we five. going next? All right, uh, let's do networking nine to five, or 200, <laughs> please. This type of switch includes integrated routing functionality. Wes. What is a uh, layer three switch? That is correct. Let's go for acronym soup for 200. A DDoS, or DDoS attack, is designed to overwhelm a host. Adam. What is a distributed denial of service attack, Don? Correct. Where next? Uh, can we go to any port in a storm for $300, please? All right, port numbers in this range are described as well-known ports. Wes. What is zero to 1023? That is correct. All right, let's go ahead and go for acronym soup for 300. NFC is a simple communications protocol designed for mobile devices. Wes. What is near field communication? That's correct. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do uh, acronym soup for 400, please. SED is a security feature found in some storage devices. SED, S-E-D, everyone's favorite technology. Ooh, time is up. <laughs> Self-encrypting drive. Oh. Self-encrypting drive. Apparently not in no. use by you guys. <laughs> That's right. <No. laughs> All right, Wes, you've still got control. All right. next? Let's close the category out. 500 for acronym soup. You can use 
S-MIME to add end-to-end -end encryption to email. Adam. Don, what is secure? multi-purpose internet mail extensions. That is correct. That is impressive, Adam. <laughs> I certainly would have gotten that one wrong. <laughs> All right, well, that takes care of acronym soup. Which category now? Uh, so, Don, let's go to security for $200. Security for 200. Our clue, the process of sending unexpected values to an application in an effort to make it crash. Adam. What is a what is a random input? Uh, close, but I'm looking for a particular term. Wes, what is fuzzing? Fuzzing. That is the answer. Uh, let's go ahead and do measure twice for three hundred. Measure twice for three hundred. This tool can be used to measure the voltage and current for power supplies. Ronnie. What is a multimeter? Multimeter is correct. I would have also accepted multimeter if oh, you were nice. creative. <laughs> <laughs> Networking nine to five for 300. Our clue, this is the most commonly used link state routing protocol. Wes. What is open shortest path first, OSP, uh, F? That is correct. <laughs> if you had botched the acronym, that would have made it even funnier. <laughs> well, we're moving pretty quickly here. Looks like we're about halfway through. Let's take a look at the scores. We've got Wes at 1,400 points. Adam and Ronnie tied for second, aka last place, at 400 <laughs> points each. I think this is a good spot for us to stop and take a quick break so we can give away one of those CompTIA exam vouchers. So stick around, and we'll be right back. So you've tried online IT training, but it's boring, out of date, and pricey. Well, IT Pro TV is always engaging, always fresh, and plans start at just $29 a month. It's online IT training that doesn't suck. Start today at itpro.tv. Have you subscribed to TechNado with Don Pizzette? In each episode of this weekly podcast, host Don, Peter, and Daniel recap the week's top tech news, helping put things in perspective for IT professionals. From new hardware previews and software releases to zero-day exploits and data breaches, you'll be up to speed on the tech world. They also interview IT experts from around the globe, giving you a look inside some of the world's largest and most innovative tech companies. Subscribe now wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the game so far and playing along at home. It's time for us to give away the first CompTIA exam voucher, and the winner is Daniel Conaway. Congratulations. We'll reach out to you to get the voucher to you. Now, for everyone else, don't worry. There's still one more chance to win after the game, so stay tuned. Just type, I want to win in the chat room to be entered. And remember, if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, you'll need to create a free account at itpro.tv. Then jump on the on-air page and put, I want to win in the chat. Now let's send it back to Don. Welcome back everyone to CompTIA Jeopardy. For those of you just tuning in, we've got Wes in the lead by 1,000 points. Adam and Ronnie, not out of the game. Tied, but not Last. too far back. So everything could change here in the second half. Wes, you're still in control of the board. Give me a category and dollar value. All right, Don, let's go ahead and go any port in the storm for 400. Our clue, this utility displays the active connections and listening ports on a host. Wes. What is NetStat? NetStat is correct. I would have also accepted SS, the socket oh. status tool. All right. Um, let's go ahead and take security for 100. Security for 100. Many firewalls include this rule to block all unapproved traffic. Adam. Don, what is deny all? Uh, deny all, yes. I would have also accepted implicit deny all. All right, Adam. So, Don, I'd like to go for any port in a storm for 500, please. Your clue? This IEEE standard defines a method of switch port authentication. Adam. Don, what is, eight, what is IEEE 802.1x? Perfect. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. <laughs> uh, Don, can we go with uh, networking nine to five for 500 again? All right. Unlike Radius, this other AAA protocol encrypts the entire authentication packet. Wes and Adam jumped in early. Ronnie, do you want to take this one? Yes. Uh, what is TACAX from TACAX Plus? That is correct, Ronnie. TACAX Plus, the AAA protocol only loved by Cisco, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ronnie, you've got control. Let's do finish off uh, networking nine to five for $400. 
This is the fifth layer of the OSI model responsible for maintaining connections between applications. For 100. Any port in any storm. Post Office Protocol, or POP3, uses this TCP port. Wes? What is port 110? Port 110 is the answer. Uh, let's go ahead and do security for 300. Identification, containment, and recovery are three steps of this process. Wes? What is incident response? That's correct. Um, security for 400, please. A destructive tool that demagnetizes a hard drive, rendering it unreadable before disposal. <laughs> we get, people are excited to answer on this one. Adam! Watch out, Adam. Jeez, wow. <laughs> We're talking about destroying hard drives, not our buzzers. Not, yeah, not sure. <laughs> Don, what is a degausser? Correct. Can we do security for 500, please, Don? Special software that examines security log entries from multiple devices to detect relationships. Adam. Don, what is a SEM A SEM product? is correct or a correlation engine. All right, Adam. Sorry, I don't have that fancy terminology. Can we go with uh, measure twice for 400, please, Don? This simple device allows you to test if a network port is functioning. Wes. <laughs> Get there eventually. <laughs> a loopback loop adapter? A loopback adapter or a loopback plug. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's see here. Only one? I guess there's only one left. Let's go ahead and close the board out. <laughs> Our final clue, a time domain reflectometer or TDR measures this. Adam. Don, what is latency? Uh, incorrect. Wes, Ronnie, these are the last points in the game. <laughs> All right, time is up. It is the length of a cable. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, well, it is time for Final Jeopardy. The category today is network architecture. Go ahead and write down your wagers and we'll be right back with the question after this mm. quick break. This is Kevin. He's studying online for a Microsoft certification and using another online IT training service. He's also on his second pot of coffee today to stay awake. And this is Kyle. He's also studying Microsoft, but using IT Pro TV. Rather than watching a boring voiceover PowerPoint, he's actually enjoying the training with two hosts in an interactive format. Both Kevin and Kyle have access to virtual lab to practice tests, but Kyle can also get help through a live chat with other IT Pro TV members and his instructors, as well as post to a Q&A forum. He can even search for exactly what he's looking for in the interactive video transcripts, all while paying less than Kevin. Oh, and Kyle can also watch in comfort via Roku app. Kevin and Kyle are both learning IT, but Kyle is enjoying the journey. Want to be more like Kyle? View the plans to start your IT Pro TV membership today. IT pros who want to learn on the go? The IT Pro TV Android app is for you. Now it's better than ever with the dashboard view built in. Easily resume viewing, see new courses as they're added, and track your hours viewed. Start up your next episode with the touch of a button to binge watch on the go. Track your progress at a glance and download episodes as an annual member for offline viewing. Access all IT Pro TV courses with a simple button. Choose landscape mode for larger viewing. Choose your course by category, certification, or job role. Watch anywhere and pick up later on your favorite devices. So head to the App Store and download the IT Pro TV app. Welcome back, everyone. It is time for Final Jeopardy. Our contestants are in a place where it's anyone's game. Wes is in the lead at 2,600 points. Ronnie, 1,500 points. And Adam, 1,400 points. Like I said, anyone could jump in the lead. Our contestants have written down their wager. It's time for the question. Today's Final Jeopardy question, or sorry, our clue is... This type of disaster recovery location stores backups of data, but not necessarily the hardware to run it. Take your time, think about the answer, write it down on your board, and in a moment we'll see who wins.
All right, time is up, pens down, and let's go. We'll, we'll start from lowest score to highest, so we'll go with Adam. Adam, what was your answer? What is a warm site? A warm site, that is incorrect. Oh. You wagered 1,400, you bet it all. Well, at least you're not in the negative. Let's move <laughs> on to Ronnie. Ronnie, what was your answer? What is a warm site? Oh. Also a warm site, also incorrect. You wagered 500 points, taking you down to 1,000. Wes, it is your game to lose. What did you say? I said a cold site. A cold site. Woo, that is correct. You wagered oh, well, $100. $100. So that puts your score at 2,700 points. You are our Woo. final Jeopardy winner. Congratulations, Wes. What are you going to do with your earnings? Uh, I'm going to Disney World. Excellent. Well, <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for joining us, but don't go away just yet as we've got one more CompTIA exam voucher to give away. I've had a lot of fun. Our contestants have a lot of fun, and we are looking forward to seeing you for the next CompTIA Jeopardy. Thanks, Don. And yes, we have one more voucher to give out. If you don't win today, we've got a great consolation prize for you. How about an IT Pro TV subscription at 30% off? Just use the code GAMESHOW30 when you register to get 30% off the lifetime of your subscription. Access more than 5,800 hours of IT training content with new episodes added daily. You can also choose to add practice exams and virtual labs. If you're preparing for a certification, head over to IT Pro TV to register and don't forget the code GAMESHOW30. All right, without further ado, let's announce the winner of the, the next voucher, Nicholas Vol. Congrats to you, sir. And we'll reach out to you to get the voucher to you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV YouTube channel so you won't miss our next live event. We'll see you then.